Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Sagittarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do Sagittarius because that's how I keep up with you all through the comments, right Saji? So as well, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, I would also like to ask for you Sagittarius to take the extra step and support my tarot reading channel by giving this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my reading channel a lot and always i'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that to, to support me saji and before we get into this reading i just want to say as a quick reminder that when it comes to receiving my weekly general tarot reading sagittarius uh i'm not here to make a decision in your life because i feel as it's your life to live not mine not these tarot cards and truthfully truthfully i don't feel like it's any tarot reader's job to make the decision i feel like readings are here to give you some food for thought something for you to consider as you go throughout your week but never making the choice all that being said though sagittarius let's just get into your weekly re re weekly Honey, let's get into your weekly reading. <laughs> we'll start out with your objective card this week, Sagittarius. And you guys actually have the Three of Rings attached with uh, the Fool right now, Sagittarius. So this is good energy to have. Uh, when I say your objective card, this is the energy that you're going to be put into this week. This is the, really also the energy to strive, right? Um, so when you, let's break this down with the dynamics of explaining these cards first. Uh, when you have the Three of Rings, Sagittarius, this is, uh, this is a card of contracts. This is a card of good, making good, usually social connections. Uh, it really as well sagittarius this is a time i mean i'll even show you like the words on the cards it says collaboration as well as uh competence so truly this week sagittarius i feel as if uh you're going to be brought up into uh be put into situations rather where you are going to have the opportunity to um step up to the plate i feel because that is another thing when it comes to the imagery of the three uh, pentacles is usually there's always one pentacle that's above the other the rest of the pentacles which usually gives the signification uh such a terrace of like either stepping up, you know, stepping up to the task, right? Uh, seeing something in a higher light, right? Maybe the person, you know, this could very easily be like a mentorship sort of thing as well, Sagittarius, uh, either or. But I do feel like you could kind of be receiving some type of potential of uh, learning some things uh, because we have the Fool card that came out with you as well, Sagittarius. Now with the Fool card, this is always just a card that talks about... Um, just waking up every single day as like a student of life as cheesy as it sounds Sagittarius and so what I mean by this is that you are willing to um kill away the old right this death card coming in um doing away with the old stuff that is no longer of service to you Sagittarius it's being willing to be like uh make the changes necessary to um be able to step up to to the plate, Sagittarius. You know, for some of you guys, it could be just a situation of needing to um, needing to. Let's see what this card says. Four Swords. Needing to. Uh, let's just say uh, put a put to rest to something, Sagittarius. Right? Maybe you guys have been working on a project um or we're investing energy into something it doesn't have to be a project right so it could be a person could be a relationship could be a situation could very well just be an actual like creative project something that you have been investing your time and energy into Sagittarius um you could have to be put into a situation of being willing to make the choice of having that death energy of doing away with the old um being able to wash your hands clean of situations that are no longer serving you things that are just like being knowing when to call it is something that i'm hearing sagittarius so just knowing when to call it a uh, strength card coming in yeah making those tough choices essentially sagittarius you have to be willing to make those tough choices which i mean obviously it's not an easy task to do but it's definitely a uh, necessary evil right you think about it in this way way rather than feeling punished Sagittarius or feeling is viewing it in like a negative way 
um, of having to let go of something, you can see it in a more positive light, Sagittarius, just off of the fact that um, we have, like, it's showing that you can, like, uh, recalibrate where it is that you're putting your energy, right? So now let's get into your tarot. We have the lover's card coming in here. This is what we're going to touch on first, Sagittarius. Now, with this lover's card, does the lover's card can mean, mean like a literal thing? I'll try to do my best, Sagittarius, to cover both spectrums of social. Um, so relationships for your, like, your actual social, like romantic or platonic business, or just in what I'm feeling, just in the sense of like a decision, right? The lovers does represent the need to make a decision of some sort, something that is pretty intimate to you, Sagittarius, right? Because um, especially when it when you think about with that through your pentacles as well, Sagittarius, this is almost like uh, needing to make a big decision on something that you uh, care a lot about. Maybe it's going to be hard to uh, keep your emotions in check, yeah? Uh, let's look at these clarifiers um, right here. So Sagittarius, what's going on here? We have your Nine of Pentacles. We have for you, your Three of Cups. And then we have the King of Cups for you. And these are all clarifiers, Sagittarius, for your Lover's card. So let's break this down, right? With the King of Cups here, this is letting me know this important decision, this decision that's kind of hard for you, this situation. You, it's almost like, regardless of what it is, Sagittarius, it's almost like a needing to have like a tough love situation with other, with outside, but more so just with yourself. And uh, it feels almost like in this decision, Sagittarius, you kind of are the one having to... Um, toughen up and it's in this situation that you probably are feeling like a, um, more like an adult in some type of situation than you normally feel right and I feel as if like we all at some point said well all of us during I don't regardless of your age Sagittarius I feel like we have like certain moments in our lives that make us really remind that really remind us rather being like oh we're adults here we have to make those big tough decisions right we have to make the ones that kind of hurt and kind of sting um because like it's just for our betterment right so with that king of cups that comes in as that reminder now with this three of cups here this lets me know that there's more than one more than just you involved in this decision sagittarius it's probably partially as to why it makes it it kind of signifies as a little bit of a tough decision sagittarius just because of the fact that it seems to affect other people um in this situation so it's like but when you have this nine of pentacles here it's almost like a sense of um this feels almost like the sense that like what doing what's best for you Sagittarius isn't necessarily what's best what's in the best interest for everybody else and maybe that's what what is that's what the uh tough decision is about Sagittarius maybe it's like trying to um figure out being like oh well are you? almost like for some of you Sagittarius you might worry as if um that you are like being a bad person or like not being yeah nine of swords having anxiety those sleepless nights and being like yeah you're just in this place where it's just like whoa what do you do right you know you're you really does feel like there's like this hard decision that you have to make um and you kind of just want to make sure that whenever you make the choice that you i can't help but feel like you have to be just reminded sagittarius that you are not a bad person um, I feel like, I can't help but feel like there's just this sense here where there's like, I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe this, that side message won't, won't resonate with anybody, but I do just get like this feeling here in regardless with, in regards to this decision, um, with this lovers or with this other party, um, Sagittarius, there is like, for some reason, like affecting, I feel like it's affecting you deeper than you realize. Um, and yeah, you just, I feel like some, some of y'all just need to be reminded that, uh, you're doing good. You're doing good. You are good. Sagittarius, right? Don't be so hard on yourself, right? So now let's get into, uh, get into your Six of Swords. Now, now this is the card of, uh, you know, putting some distance in between, uh, uh, putting some distance, uh, from you and whatever that situation is, right? It's probably what that decision is about in some capacity. So let's break this down even more. Let's let's see what is going on here. What deck do we want to use though? We'll use this deck and see what's going on with the Six of Swords. Now, 
Sagittarius, I also just want to um, point out when it comes to needing to like make those transitions, right? Especially with that death card, I keep on thinking back on that death card, uh, Sagittarius, that it's like, it seems like some of you guys, um, that voice card cutting, and also uh, back of the deck right here, Nine of Swords, following you. So you're really in your head about this decision, uh, Sagittarius, you really don't know like about this whole situation in and of itself. It really shows to me how sensitive of a person you actually are, Sagittarius. And if not just like a sensitive person, um, just shows to me how much you actually care about this situation so much. Like you're really not trying to um, upset anyone um, in this regard. So let's look at the clarifiers. We have your chariot card. We have the four of wands. We have the ten of pentacles. And then we have the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius. So, and remember, this is all the clarifications for your Six of Swords. So let's break this down. Um, with this, you have the Chariot card coming in. Um, I do feel like this is kind of a decision that you need to make this week. Um, I know, right? Nice time frame, Valka. Um, yeah, with this Eight of Wands here, um, this is a card of where it's like you kind of have to let go of things and grab other th grab up. At other things i'm getting like the imagery sagittarius of like you know like in those old school like 90s game shows uh maybe some of you all y'all will know um where maybe they still do it um early 2000s where it's like you would put the like people in like those like wind machine tubes or whatever and like give them like a thing apron and then like however much cash they grab in that little wind thing and like a minute or 30 seconds or whatever they get to keep and it kind of feels like that for you such a terrorist where it's like if you're in your head too much about this situation about where it's like at this indecision needing to like weigh things out really caring i don't want to say you're caring too much such a terrorist but it's just like staying at this fork in the road it's going to it seems like some opportunities are going to pass you by right you do kind of have to make the choice of letting go of things um four of wands with this ten of pentacles coming in here i actually kind of want to pull some clarifiers on this uh sagittarius just because with this dynamic this could let me know of what it is you're walking away from or what it is that you need to that you're uh, going into right this could be very much so of like uh going into some type of promised land right as dramatic as that sounds so let's look at the clarifiers for this we have the eight of wands following you again sagittarius we have the king uh queen of wands and then we have the king of oh wow uh queen king of wands so really sagittarius this is letting me know um something that you are going into this is definitely something you feel extremely passionate about there is some type of calling and i now i'm kind of understanding this a little bit more sagittarius as to why you would feel some type of way about um making this decision because it does seemly seemingly like you go from that three cups at the beginning right sagittarius right there seems to be other people involved but now like it seems like you're going alone on this journey right and especially with uh, both the king and the queen of wands here uh coming in here very passionate very i mean fire energy very fitting for you sagittarius um this is very much so just something that i feel like is for just for like it's like you have a hunch on something right you need to need to grab up at it but again it's not always going to be here these wands are going to be falling at some point all the way to the ground and once they're at the ground sagittarius you're not going to be able to um grab up at them anymore right so it is kind of having to make those hard choices sagittarius um in regards to like you know getting out of i would say just get out of your head there does come a point sagittarius especially with that king of cups as a reminder where it's like you have to kind of make those tough adult decisions that you know you kind of have to accept that you're not going to make everyone happy with all the choices that you make in your life and just you have to be at peace with the fact that you know if some people get slightly inconvenienced in a way where it's like maybe you used they're so used to you investing like having your being having a certain access to you for example Sagittarius maybe you kind of need to uh 
have that conversation with yourself when you're going to start valuing your time more, start being more efficient with your time, you know, whatever your storyline is, right? Um, but it's kind of like thinking about what will, you know, I feel like I always say this, but it's like, when are you going to put yourself first? Um, so six of cups, this is definitely part of the reason why this situation is a little bit hard for you to, as I was saying before, it's because it's a close situation for you. Such a tears. This is one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, like maybe like growing from an old friend, growing from an old project that's just been part of your life for a long time and making that transition can kind of seem scary, right? So let's look at the clarifiers that we have for your Six of Cups. We have coming in as for the Four of Discs. We have the Temperance card. And then we have the Three of Swords. So definitely where it is that you're trying to invest your pentacles into, there's some pain attached, right? But dare I say, there's kind of like a reasoning as to why uh, Sagittarius that you're feeling drawn to like releasing this current situation because it feels like there's like this right here you may not want to admit it Sagittarius but it kind of feels like you, this has been weighing you down, down for a while even if that wasn't their intention I really don't see this energy being conducive to your current state of life anymore and towards your progression and I feel like that's part of the reason as to why Sagittarius like you are outgrowing them because it's just like you're just in this place now where like yeah maybe this one thing at one point served you uh such a terrorist but i'm getting at this point now it's just more so serving as a distraction it's like more so something that's just uh draining to you at this point so it's just um yeah so let's get into your final card now sagittarius with your ace of pentacles now with your ace of pentacles this is a really good card to have this is the cornucopia card right this is the card of um especially with that four of wands that we had before this like that hunch that you have sagittarius this ace of pentacles comes in as the affirmation of where it's just like this is the way to go right so I'm really interested in looking at the clarifiers for this. You guys get four clarifiers for this as well. So for your Ace of Wands, Sagittarius, we have coming in for you the Page of Pentacles. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. The World Card, Breaking Those Cycles. And then the Page of Wands. Two pages is powerful. And as well as Sagittarius, it's, you know, pages represents those new beginnings, right? Um, and so with this dynamic, um, this cornucopia that we'll say, right? This blank check that you have, that you try, that you have the option of going towards Sagittarius, um, this new start, seemingly, it seems like you're, you would be changing things up dramatically in your life. Um, I don't really see this as like something like feeding it. It's, I don't feel like you're switching to like a new team, right? I feel like you're just changing things up just dramatically because I see you getting out of your comfort zone, right? Knight of Pentacles and the World card, you're getting out of your comfort zone and it's through getting out of your comfort zone. It's through this uh, new beginning that's attached uh Sagittarius doing something completely new um new especially with this page of wands you know it's uh, page of wands I always like to say Sagittarius is my uh clean slate card so really good dynamic it gets you breaking you out of this uh old cycle that you are in and remembering from before Sagittarius that you have that death card um that came up for you as well so there definitely seems to be this just this constant like letting go uh letting go cutting ties with old things washing your hands clean very much so like a cleansing week and i know and it makes even more sense now when you think about it uh such a chance to have like that full energy at the beginning um, as your objective because obje one of your objective cards Sagittarius because it is like the fool is the beginning of that journey is someone stepping into that new journey and so when we close that reading off for you um, Sagittarius with those two pages it makes so much sense for you so um, 
Yeah, Sagittarius, that is the cards that I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Sagittarius. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius, as well. Saji, I do all the zodiac signs for their weekly general tarot reading, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, uh, Sagittarius, send them their zodiac tarot reading sign, and maybe they'll find a message that resonates as well. Until next time, though, I love you so much.